Hi friends, welcome. Good to be with you again. Today is Sunday, the seventh Sunday in Ordinary Time. And let us continue in our prayers to pray for each other. Remember all those who have asked for our prayers, for the sick, for those who have died, for peace, especially in the Ukraine, and in all other parts of the world, and continue to remember all those suffering from the earthquake in Turkey. And for our own personal intentions, we pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, An eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, offer no resistance to one who is evil. When someone strikes you on your right cheek, turn the other one as well. If anyone wants to go to law with you over your tunic, hand over your cloak as well. Should anyone press you into service for one mile, go for two miles. Give to the one who asks of you and do not turn your back on one who wants to borrow. You have heard that it was said you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of your heavenly Father. For he makes his sun rise on the bad and the good and causes rain to fall on the just and the unjust. For if you love those who love you, what recompense will you have? Do not the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet your brothers only, what is unusual about that? Do not the pagans do the same? So be perfect, just as your heavenly Father is perfect. The Gospel of the Lord. Another challenging gospel, friends. Another challenging gospel. This always reminds me of what Gandhi, who was not Christian, said about us Christians. Gandhi said, if you Christians actually lived out what you preached, if you lived out what you say you believe in, you would change the world. And it's very clear. And it all comes down to love. And the one who shows us that love is the author of love, Jesus Christ, God the Father, and their Holy Spirit. It's easy to love those who love us back. You know, we just celebrated Valentine's Day this past week. And we celebrate those we love and those who love us. And it's a beautiful thing, and we should do it. But how do we love those who don't love us back? And, and that is the tough part. And to do all these things that Jesus says, you know, go the extra mile. If someone asks for your, your, your tunic, give them your cloak. You know, uh, if someone slips you on the cheek, turn the other cheek. Who wants to do that? I don't want to do it. You know, and, and we always look for, we want to be even. You know, we got to get even with people. And, um, and Jesus says, don't do it. Don't do it. Not an eye for an eye. And what this means is we have to treat people with respect and love, even if they don't do the same to us. And, you know, it also that plays into this is how do we forgive and forgive those who have hurt us? whether it's a close person in our family or our friends, or whether it's a stranger. And so many times when, you know, I'll talk to people about forgiveness and they'll say, it's too hard to forgive. You know, they've hurt me so much. And my answer is always, and they're still hurting you. You know why? Because you haven't forgiven them. When you and I forgive friends, we let go. Forgiveness is power. It's not weakness. So many times people think if I forgive someone, I'm weak. Actually, you are powerful. You are in control. And when we forgive someone who has hurt us, we let them go. If we don't, then they are constantly with us. 24-7, they're with us. And they don't even know that they're bothering us. They don't even know that they're getting under our skin. And so, friends, as we listen to this gospel... And Jesus ends, so be perfect just as your heavenly Father is perfect. And that's our goal. Our goal is perfection, which will come in heaven. And the way we get to that perfection is by being faithful here on earth. And so how are you and I 
doing what Jesus tells us to do today, to go the extra mile, to, to turn the other cheek, to give more than what someone asks of us, and to know that why we're doing it is to be faithful and to join with the perfect one on the road to perfection. And that is called faithfulness. And so ultimately we're called to be faithful. And, and who, friends, you know, who do we need to forgive? Is there anyone in our lives that is having control over us? Let's pray today that we can start the path to forgiveness. And remember, to forgive is powerful. To forgive is not weakness. It is strength. When I say, I forgive you, I let you go. If I don't forgive you, I'm holding on to you and I'm never letting you go. And you are constantly causing me harm. But if I forgive you, I let you go. And then what do I have? Peace. When I don't forgive, we're like this. When I do forgive, we're like this. And so who do you need to forgive? Who do you need to ask forgiveness of? And, you know, even when, um, if we ask forgiveness of someone and they don't forgive us, we can still let it go because we've done everything we could. But it's everyone's choice whether to accept the forgiveness or not. And so how are you and I this week going to follow the mandate of Jesus to be perfect, just as our Heavenly Father is perfect? which means to be on the road to perfection, which is faithfulness. So how are we going to be faithful? How are we going to say yes? How are we not going to give up? And how are we going to look into our own hearts and say, God, here I am. What do I need to do? Show me the way. Let me never give up. So friends, as we come to this new week, let's, let's try it. What do we have to lose? Nothing. What do we have to gain? Everything. And especially when it comes to forgiving others, to letting them go and not let them have control over us. Because remember, anyone who you are not forgiving is controlling you 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 52 weeks a year. Do you want to let go? Or do you want to hold on? So, thank you all for being with me. I'm um, this week going to, I'm starting my mission cycle for the next, I think I have nine missions coming up in the next 11 or 12 weeks. And I am in Armonk, New York at St. Patrick Parish. And so please pray for us at St. Patrick's that we may truly be open to the spirit, to what Jesus wants us to do. And uh, we're going to be looking at what does it mean to be Catholic today. And then I'm heading off to Tulsa, to our school, Cashel Hall, to do vocation work. And then off to Philadelphia after that. So I'm actually going to be on the road for a little bit for the next 12 days or 10, 11, 12 days. So, but thank you for being with me. Know of my prayers for you. Thanks for your love, your support. Let's truly remember we're on the road to perfection which is being faithful. Let's never give up. And let us always remember, Jesus is our guide, he's on our side, and he will never let us go. How good it is that we are here. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Have a great week. Bye-bye.